Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today is going to be my first ever sit down video and to make things easier for me since it's my first sit down video, I am going to be filming my favorite restaurants in Philadelphia. I thought it would be suitable because I've lived there for three years, but I feel like I have great restaurants I would love to recommend to all of you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be starting off with restaurants in University City. I'm not in Philadelphia right now, so I can't go into these places and film an in-depth food review slash restaurant review, but I do have um, pictures and Instagram stories that I've uploaded previously, so I will be uh, uh, putting these images on the side they're also by the way not in any order or any ranking it's just a list um, i will also be listing down all the restaurants in the description bar down below so you guys can refer to them easily and yeah let's really get started so first off i want to mention distrito it is a mexican restaurant I love their nachos and their cornbread, oh, so amazing. I usually go there for dinner or happy hour. If I'm like looking to the side, it's because I have a whole list um, on my notes app. Anyway, I love getting their nachos. I think the nachos are the best thing you can get there. Um, and their frozen margaritas. They have normal margaritas, but the frozen margaritas are so much better. Um, and it makes it easier for me to swallow. Um, so yeah, I love the frozen margaritas, nachos, cornbread combo. Okay, so tips. Make sure to get um, a reservation before you go, especially for dinner or happy hour. It is very popular among all the students here. Um, so it gets really, really, really packed. It's impossible to sometimes get a table if you just walk in at like 6 p.m. You're not gonna be able to get a table. Okay, so number two. Pelicana slash Bonchan. Um, I love myself some Korean fried chicken. Um, so whenever I'm craving more authentic Korean fried chicken, I would go to Pelicana. I always get their boneless fried chicken with some hot sauce on the side so I can just dip them in. I love um, their truffle fried and cheese sticks. So amazing. I think I went there nearly every day at one point i think i went there like four days consecutively waiters knew us knew um my friend and i because we would just go there super often and sometimes they would just give us free food that's how often i went to pelicana it was a little crazy their avocado salad is also surprisingly good so if you want like a healthy appetizer this the salads are amazing um and also their fried rice their fried rice is also really good Next is Bonchan. Um, I usually just get their spicy chicken strips and fries. Um, I haven't really tried anything else. Moving on, Zavino. I feel like no one really talks about Zavino, but Zavino has great Italian food. Um, I get their ricotta, um, their oven roasted Brussels sprouts, and their stash pizza all amazing so yeah just make sure to get a reservation i feel like um if you don't make a reservation you have to wait around 20 to 30 minutes i am also going to be mentioning um cafes and dessert places too in this list my new favorite cafe in university city is elixir coffee their mocha so amazing i usually sometimes get their occasional donuts um i know they get it from somewhere else i forgot where but their donuts are really good too i feel like their croissants are too big and flaky and just difficult to eat okay i'm gonna also drink some kombucha while i film this video because i'm getting thirsty because i've been talking for so long guys i have filmed this video like two times already This is the Wonder Drink Grape Kombucha. It's so refreshing and it tastes like Grape Fanta. And it matches my shirt. Okay, so we were on Elixir Coffee. Yeah, I like Elixir Coffee primarily because of the area. It has a really nice area for people to sit and study. It has... Um, good natural light which i think is critical now moving on to honorable mentions i love the white dog cafe too it's just a classic american restaurant um nice to bring parents 
Um, oh, also their bread and butter, like salty honey butter is amazing. Bread is really good there, <laughs> but their Thai chicken salad is also really good. I, I usually get the Thai chicken salad, um, and it, the portions are really big. Well, at least for the Thai chicken salad, but it's also like $30, so it better be big. Next, Baylor's and Federal Donuts. I have this thing for donuts. I love donuts. It's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's my favorite dessert. Actually, no, it's not. I like any desserts. I love cakes, donuts. If it's a dessert, I'll like it. Um, but Baylor's Salted Caramel Donut is really good. And Federal Donuts, um, they have really cool like specialty flavors um i think it's called like their fancier donuts i feel like federal donuts is very underrated among my friends they don't really talk about it but i secretly go to federal donuts like all the time okay next is united by blue uh it's a very 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 popular cafe um among penn students so if you're a penn student and you don't know united by blue you probably live under a rock. I did not know about United by Blue until like, spring semester of my freshman year. Yeah, like near the end of my freshman year. So I don't know where I've been, but I didn't even know about United by Blue's existence for like that long. Shocking. Um, but United by Blue has really great coffee and matcha tea. That's what I usually go there for. Their sandwiches and salads are really good. I've never really ordered their salads, but I see tons of people ordering their salads. I okay, I really love their avocado toast, but I feel like none of us should be buying avocado toast from cafes. I feel like we should just be making our own. But if you feel like ordering avocado toast, Unite Blue has great toast there. Um, just because it's super simple and they don't put anything on top of it. Cons, it's hard to find seeds because it's super popular and it's kind of dark. Um, I don't really like studying in dark cozy atmospheres i like natural lighting and i don't think united Red blue has the greatest natural lighting but otherwise amazing coffee and tea next honorable mention okay so asian food on penn's campus is really good but han dynasty i think tops it all for me because i love their hot sauce style fish and their fried chicken and fried fish you could also adjust your spicy level i usually go for 10 I mean, I'm Korean, I love some spice, but if you're weak and you want to order something that's like less spicy, it's fine. You can just order le level one or two. And then Terakawa has great Japanese ramen. I usually get their spicy ramen. Um, it comes with kimchi on top of it. And then I, I love getting their karage chicken as well. It's just solid ramen that's on campus. I think that is it for U City. Uh, moving on to other restaurants. In Philadelphia okay, next is Barbuzo it's one of my new discoveries which kind of sucks I can't believe I just started going to Barbuzo in my junior year like what have I been doing freshman sophomore year like where have I been eating all these years they have great charcuterie board um, their pastas are amazing but I feel like their dessert is like the best solid their salt caramel badino and their apple cinnamon bread pudding so impeccable um the restaurant is kind of dark it's hard to see the menu dark so i had to use a flashlight to see what i wanted to order it's also super loud because it's a very small dense restaurant packed with tables and people next is the love okay. to be honest i've only been there once i think but my experience there was just amazing mushroom toast on point their brussels sprouts i have this like new love for brussels sprouts i think the last time i went i was like on a diet on a health kick so i ordered salmon but i know that their chicken is really famous there so i highly recommend that yeah i don't really have anything else to say the love is amazing next is kafar cafe it's more of a cafe than a restaurant but you can still get like solid food there um uh the pastries the chocolate rugelach the pistachio sticky bun, their chocolate babka are amazing, so I highly recommend getting them. Um, but their grilled cheese Jerusalem bagels, so good. The Jerusalem bagels are like a flatter version of a bagel, and it's just easier to eat and just mm, so good, so so good. I usually go to Kafar after going to like Barry's boot camp or Soul Cycle or Pilates, which kind of ruins the whole point of working out and being healthy. 
but you know what, Kafar, I only go to work out just to go to Kafar afterwards, so Kafar, I think, is the one thing I miss the most out of everything, because all the other things I can technically get in Hong Kong, you know, I can go to get Japanese ramen here, or I can just go, you know, find a donut place here. Kafar is the first place I'm going to go when I'm back in Philly. That's how passionate I am about it. And I highly recommend it. The line tends to get really long when you go there, but it goes by really fast. So don't get intimidated. Like don't just leave after seeing the super long line. Just like wait. It just literally takes like 10 minutes. Also, I wasn't very familiar with the names, like how to pronounce these names, and I still am not too sure or confident. So what I did was really pay attention to what the person ahead of me was saying and then like copy it. <laughs> okay, so. Next is a cafe called chapter house it's a little further away from u city but still amazing i always get their dominican mocha it's like a rich malty mocha my friend discovered it so thanks bridget for watching it is a very cozy cafe it is sometimes hard to find seating because people just go there during the weekends to study um, the downstairs lighting isn't the greatest. I usually go there like late in the afternoons, like at 2 3 p.m. And it's impossible to find seating upstairs, like on the ground floor. Their chairs look very uncomfy, but they're the comfiest chairs in the world. Like, I just want to ask where they bought them. Guys, just trust me on this. Okay, next, Franklin's Fountain or Franklin's Ice Cream. They have the best ice cream in Philly. If you're from Philly, you probably know about Franklin's Fountain. But if you're visiting Philly and you've done a little bit of research about the most famous like dessert places, Franklin's Fountain probably popped up and I highly recommend it. I think it's cash only though. I usually get vanilla because I just love vanilla flavored ice cream. But I remember that their carrot cake ice cream was also really, really good. Also their banana split. It's huge, but it's amazing. Next so. is PS and Co. It's a vegan restaurant. I'm obsessed with PS and Co. I've been there numerous times. I have tried their breakfast taco, burrito, meatball sub, grilled cheese, cauliflower meatball pizza. Their desserts are impeccable. Their tiramisu and their carrot cake. Sometimes I wonder why like, desserts are not vegan because PS and Co. manages. Um, <laughs> But again, I'm not vegan, so who am I to say? Next is Park. If you're from Philly, you probably know about Park already. I get their onion soup and their spaghetti bolognese. That's the only thing I get there. I've been there like more than 10 times and I haven't really tried anything else. I don't really branch out. If I like something, I'm just gonna get that like all the time. It gets super packed during brunch slash lunch hour, so make sure you reserve. But even if you don't, you can just put your name down and just you can walk around Center City um, it's really close to the shopping area, so you can just like walk around and then when they call you, you can just go back, so it's not really a problem. Next is Chubby Cattle, it just has solid hot pot. Yeah, it just has all the toppings that you, you would like in a hot pot restaurant. Um, very authentic style and also good quality hot pot. I think it's a little bit expensive but I think it's worth the money. Kava is a Mediterranean salad slash warm bowl restaurant. I love Kava so much. Their pita bread chips are amazing. I highly recommend it. Amazing if you just love like Mediterranean like food, if you like salad with like hummus, chicken, like quinoa, like all of that. Next is Kalaya. Kalaya I discovered on a whim. I was studying with my friend um, at Chapter House and we were kind of getting hungry. It was near dinner time. We were just walking around the area. We're like, let's just explore, you know um, And we discovered this really cool Thai restaurant and it was Kalaya. Their papaya salad was really good Their stir-fried Chinese broccoli was really amazing, too And they also have really great curries, too, as well. If you want authentic good quality Thai food, I highly recommend Kalaya like Thai Singa just doesn't cut it. Now on to honorable mentions in Philly. I highly recommend Pumpkin BYOB. Um, Pumpkin BYOB is a really nice, more I think upscale, not super upscale, but like you have to order by the course. So you have to choose an appetizer, um, main, and then dessert. You can't just like order from an a la carte menu. And it's a very small restaurant. Um, so I highly recommend booking it. It's a really nice restaurant that offers a BYOB like service. 
so you don't have to pay a corkage fee. Um, I celebrated my 21st birthday there and it was really, really good. The food was amazing. I liked every single thing that I had. And last but not least is Chima. So a lot of people ask me to compare between Chima and Fogoda Chow because they're both Brazilian steakhouses. I prefer Chima, obviously, because they have grilled pineapple slices. I know that's not like the most important element of a steak, of a steakhouse, but I feel like it makes a world of a difference. I think Fogoda Chow is definitely overrated. That is basically it for this video. That was my whole list. I still have yet to explore the restaurants in Philadelphia. I feel like I didn't really explore enough during my freshman, sophomore year when I had more time. I am planning on making a New York City version as well as a Hong Kong version soon. Hopefully this was really helpful if you're visiting Philly or new to Philly and you wanted to try new restaurants. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you are from Philly, comment down below your favorites. See you guys soon. Bye.